Alright, so in this uh, Phantom X tutorial session, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to get the song, a, a pre-sampled song from the Phantom X onto your computer. First thing you're gonna need is a USB cable, like this. You see that? You're gonna need a cable like that. Alright, and uh, we're gonna get this hooked up and I'm gonna show you what to do from there. So pause the camera and I'll show you exactly what this looks like from the back of the keyboard. Okay, now before moving any farther, um, do not have Windows Media Player open when connecting the Phantom X to your computer. No media player of any sort, especially Windows Media Player, it will screw things up in the keyboard and make everything a mess. So, close down Windows Media Player or any media player for the matter before doing these next steps. So the first step you're going to take is press menu and you're going to scroll down to USB storage using the cursor buttons. Hit enter. Okay, now the next step, I have my sample that I want on the memory card. Um, so. What I want to do from here is I want to hit F6 because I got my sample on the memory card. If you have it on internal memory, then you're going to hit F3, and these steps are going to be the exact same for whichever one you choose. But I'm on the memory card, so I'm going to hit F6. And it is connecting to the computer right now. And I'll pause the camera and I'll give you a shot of the screen and show you what to do from there. Okay, so once you get the keyboard to the computer and it's hooked up, you should get a message like this. It says, do you want to scan and fix fan, fan X card E? Or if it says that, if you're going to the internal memory of the keyboard, just click continue without scanning. Okay, and it'll show up this box here, autoplay. Um, do not click always do this for audio files. Don't click that. But what you want to do, you want to hit open folder to view files. And this will take you into this page here. And you're going to see a Roland EMP folder. If your samples, you're going to double click the Roland folder. And you're going to see four folders in this next set here. Um, you're going to see PNL, SEQ, SND, and SNPL. Under the SNPL right here. Double click that. And here is all your samples inside of your keyboard. Um, now, do not play the samples and listen to them while the keyboard is connected to the computer. Do not, do not, do not do that. I cannot stress that enough. You will screw things up. Um, if you've got the samples that you want on here, um, this is all you do to get them onto your computer. If you have a few that you want to get onto your computer, you click, you click and hold and just drag it right onto your desktop and drop the file. That is all you do. And after that, that's basically it. You just drag and drop your audio files onto your desktop that you want, the samples, and that's it. Um, once again, do not, do not, do not play the audio files in Windows Media Player while the keyboard is connected to the computer. I'll pause the camera and show you what to do next. Okay, so after you're done with that, you're going to want to close out of this, your sample folder, close that out, and you're going to want to eject the Phantom X from your computer safely. Um, to do that, you're going to have an icon to eject it in the uh, bottom right hand corner to eject the USB device, or you can go to my computer, select the Phantom X, and right click and hit safely remove or eject. So we're going to go ahead and do that, safely remove, cannot safely be removed from the computer. Okay, once you disconnect the Phantom X from your computer, you should see this screen. Um, if you do not see the screen and it still says connected, but nothing's going on and it does say it is safely removed from your computer, go ahead and pull the USB plug out of your computer and you should be just fine. Um, after that, just hit exit and you're right back to the main screen.
So I hope this tutorial was a bit of help to you. If you still have any questions, um, leave a comment or um, go ahead and leave a video response on what you're having trouble with. Show me exactly where the problem is or explain it to me and I will make another video showing how to do it. But yeah. this video should get you through it successfully. Mm -hmm. So leave me comments, practice and enjoy.